The paycheck to paycheck grind is tough and it's the biggest sign that you're stuck in a rat race. I remember working 40 hours a week, if not more, and still feeling like I didn't have enough income to really be free and do what I wanted. I definitely couldn't think about starting a business or getting into real estate because where would I get that kind of money from? Well, the answer to that question and the fastest way that you're gonna run up a bag is business credit. Today, I'm gonna share with you how powerful business credit truly is and the steps that I followed to start getting business credit and using it to get back my financial freedom. And just a few years ago, before I really knew what business credit was, I was desperate to level up my life financially. I mean, I had a decent job, but I just still wasn't happy because I didn't have any time or financial freedom in my life. I really felt like I was spending most of my time working just to pay my rent, my grocery, and my main bills. I was just at a point where I knew I wasn't gonna be stuck in this rat race for the next 30 years, and I wanted to make enough income to where I could really do what I wanted to do. And it was at this point when a friend of mine actually started putting me on to what business credit was and how to start building it. And after this was when everything changed. And the crazy thing is, I'm actually headed to the bank right now to get some funds ready for an upcoming real estate transaction. And I promise you, none of this was possible until I really started understanding what business credit was. Not only do I use business credit to invest in things like real estate, but I've also also use it to invest in assets like vehicles for my Toro business. And this is possible because all business credit technically is, is money or funding given to a business entity intended to increase its cash flow and help it grow. Now this funding can come in different forms, whether it's a credit card, which I use to purchase my Toro cars, a line of credit, which is as close to cash as you can get, or an outright business loan. All of these options are technically forms of business credit. Now there are also a few financial institutions who give out business credit, a few of them being credit unions, banks, and actual credit card companies. Man, in the beginning, I'm telling you, I barely even knew about my personal credit, let alone my business credit. But this was when things really started to ramp up for me. So the business credit side is obviously different than the personal credit. One of the biggest differences being the actual credit reporting company. The business side still has companies like Equifax and Experian, but they're more tailored to businesses. But the new player in the business credit game is gonna be Duns & Bradstreet. Now just take note of Duns & Bradstreet because I'm gonna revisit this a little bit later because they're super important when it comes to business credit. Another big difference was the actual score range of the two different credit scores. We all know like around the 700 is a good personal credit score, but when it comes to business, there's a whole different scale of numbers. So at this point, I was definitely super excited and intrigued to start learning more about business and seeing how it was a whole different ball game being played on the business side. But honestly, I was still kind of lost at how I was gonna use business credit to actually change my life financially. And this feeling is what triggered me to start looking into business credit even more and really start realizing how powerful it truly was. First off, when it comes to business credit, lenders usually give three to five times higher the credit limit on business credit cards as they would a personal credit card. The second thing is that business credit separates your business from your personal finances. Most business credit doesn't even report to your personal credit score. And that's super powerful because that literally gives you the freedom to make those moves with your business without really worrying about the negative impacts on your personal side. And this speaks to probably one of the biggest reasons on why business credit is important to changing your life and it's the ability to leverage this business credit into income producing assets. This means you can invest in assets that you just normally wouldn't have the cash for up front. Being able to invest in things like a Toro business, investing in, into real estate, or just being able to invest and start that business you didn't have the upfront money for. Business credit is gonna be the easiest way for you to get your hands on thousands of dollars if you start from the bottom. Coming from where I come from, the only way to get your hand on four or five figures of upfront capital is to either you know somebody die and leave you inheritance, or you get lucky and hit the lottery. Other than that, your chances are slim. So with that being said, let me know in the comments what you're gonna use your business credit to invest in. So at this point, you know I was motivated and ready to start building some business credit on my own. And if you're excited to run your own business credit bag up, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so we can push this channel out to more bag chasers like yourself and grow our wealth together. So like many of you watching, I still at this point didn't know exactly how to build my own business credit. And I definitely didn't know how to get business credit from financial institutions like this. And I know it's easy for you to feel stuck right now because you're getting all this information and you might not know exactly where to start. You might not have a whole bunch of money to start with or the best personal credit. But the fact that you're still here tells me that you're smart, you're serious, and you're ready to make a change. So make sure you follow these next steps to the T because this is literally going to be the blueprint for you running up thousands of dollars in business credit. 
Now, the first thing that you need to do is actually create your business and not just create the business, but actually set it up the right way from the very beginning so that your business looks all the way official on paper. And this is the time you want to get your notepad ready because these gems you want to keep handy so you don't stumble through the process like I did when I first started out. Now, actually creating your business is pretty simple. You can go ahead and form your business like your LLC at your secretary of state website. And for most states, you can literally fill out the business application in 15 to 20 minutes all online. The price of forming your business is usually between $100 to $300, depending on which state you're in. But honestly, it pales in minuscule compared to what we're going to do with this. Now, actually going through the process of creating your business, as I said, is really easy. But if you want a little bit more help, I'm going to actually link my own DIY LLC guide in the description below. And that's going to walk you through the process step by step and give you the templates that you need as far as starting your business. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and get our EIN. This is our employer identification number, and we can get this at the IRS website, which is irs.gov. Your EIN is really important because it's pretty much like your business's social security number. So this is gonna be how all the businesses that you do business with and the lenders pretty much keep track of your business itself. And as I said, this part is completely free. All you have to do is go to irs.gov and start your EIN application. Now the next hack that you wanna do is go ahead and actually get your business an official business address. And you can do this through getting something called a virtual office. Now the cool thing about a virtual office is that it's actually a big corporate building that will allow you to use their address as your business address so that they can pick up mail for you and ultimately it's gonna make your business look super official. So when these lenders go ahead and look up and Google map your business address, it's gonna be a super official office building. And as I said, when you get mail, the virtual office clerk will actually pick up the mail for you until you pick it up or you can pay an additional fee and have that mail sent directly to you once they receive it now the business that i use for my virtual office is called regis i love regis because they're not too pricey but they give you all this awesome stuff you know mail pickup and a nice office that you can come into when you come into this building it's just a whole vibe you got glass offices everywhere everything looks professional and for you as a business owner this is just another step that signifies that you're making your way to being an official business and that much closer to go ahead and locking in thousands of dollars with business credit now the next thing i want you to get for your business is a toll free number so this is just like an 800 number or a separate phone line specifically for your business so that way when lenders go ahead and call and look up your business it's not just your personal cell phone it's an actual direct line to your business and in the same light you also want to go ahead and get your business a domain and a business email address. So the domain is just essentially the .com name for your business. Go to GoDaddy and get this for just about $15. It's super easy. And when you get that .com, you can also register that .com as a business email. So this is another way to make your business stand out and look really official because when you go ahead and put your email address, it's not a Gmail, it's not a Yahoo address. It should be something similar to like your name or info at yourbusinessname.com. And once you get the domain, go ahead and lock in that business email and make this part of your business legit as well. So we're just about there doing all these things, creating your business, you're really structuring it so it looks official and that these lenders will really give you the business credit that you ask for but you'll get bonus points if you do this next step i actually want you to use that domain and go ahead and create a website for your business it doesn't have to be a fancy multi-thousand dollar website it can literally just be a one-page website with your business address your business phone number and a brief description of your business just so once again when these lenders go to look you up you also have an online presence and there's a website that they can go to that represents your business. Now you have a legit business, you're looking A1 and you've really checked off most of the boxes that you need to to run up this business credit bag. There's just a few more things I want you to know before you get these tens of thousands of dollars. Now it's time for you to complete one of the most important of them all, and that's getting a business checking account. And you see me earlier at Navy Federal Credit Union, and that's one of my favorite financial institutions and a great place maybe for you to start with opening your first business checking account. Now this is a huge part of your process because a lot of financial institutions don't even recognize your business as being formed until you actually open your business bank account. And if you're just starting out, I will recommend you opening your business account with a credit union as opposed to a big commercial bank because credit unions are usually a little bit smaller and more open to start in that business credit relationship as opposed to a big commercial bank. So with this being said, if you start somewhere like Navy Fed, I want you to go ahead and get a personal check-in and savings account as well as your business check-in and savings account to build that relationship even more from the start. If you have a direct deposit coming from your nine to five, go ahead and move that over to Navy Fed as well. We're just gonna start building more and more elements of that relationship so that 
Navy Fed is gonna be a little bit more lenient when you go to action for that bag and business credit. And the crazy part is once we do these things and actually show the credit union that we have skin in the game, we could be ready to go and apply for a business credit card as soon as a few weeks to a few months. In some instances, you can open up the business bank account and apply for the business credit card at the same day and get approved. Now just think about running this same play at multiple banks multiple times. This is an easy blueprint right to 100,000 in business credit. So this specific method of building your business credit directly with a credit union or financial financial institution is called relationship baking. I like this method because it can be really fast and it can get you high credit limits, but most of the time when you use a relationship banking method, they are gonna require you to do a PG. A PG stands for a personal guarantor, which is just essentially you co-signing for your business. So even though you're still using a PG and co-signing for your business in this method, most of these institutions don't report your credit or the utilization on your business side to your personal credit report. So with that being said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing a PG and doing relationship banking to run up business credit as well. It can be very fast and you can literally get into the game with like a mid 600 credit score. But even if your personal credit isn't there yet, there's still other options that you can use to start building your business credit. Now this method I like to call the tier method and it's gonna involve Duns and Bradstreet. If you remember from earlier, I told you Duns and Bradstreet is a major player in business credit and this is where they come in. So now I want you to go ahead and go to dnb.com and apply for a Duns and Bradstreet number. Once again, Duns and Bradstreet is actually the biggest business credit reporting bureau and you can go ahead and sign up to get a number with them absolutely free. When you go to dnb.com, I will tell you they're gonna try to sell you on a bunch of packages at first. These are things you don't really need to get a business credit or a paydex score with them. So go ahead and skip through that. Not only is this Duns and Bradstreet number gonna pretty much track your business credit score, but they're also gonna report the transactions and the relationships that you're building with other vendors and other merchants as you start to build your business credit. And speaking of vendor and merchant accounts, the next step in the tier method is actually to start building direct relationships with these vendor accounts and these other merchants. Now these vendor accounts are actually businesses that will allow you to buy from them and invoice you 30, 60, or 90 days later and let you pay over time. Now what this does is report those business transactions as you pay them on time as active trade lines to Duns and Bradstreet and these net 30s, net 60s, and net 90s become your first trade lines as you start to build your business credit. Now there are a whole bunch of net 30 and net 60 companies out there, but in my past experience, the most reliable ones that I know report directly to Duns and Bradstreet and the other business credit bureaus are gonna be Quill, Uline, and Granger. These three companies are pretty much office supply companies, so you can use them to go ahead and buy individual things for your company. You may not need everything that they sell, but you can definitely find something to get that relationship started and have them start reporting to Duns and Bradstreet on your business's behalf. Now, when you first start the relationship with these vendors, you may not be able to buy on invoice and net 30 on your very first purchase, but all you have to do is spend between like 50 and $100 on your first time in cash. And then after that, they'll invoice you and allow you to pay over time and report that trade line right thereafter. And the more you do business with these vendors, the more trade lines they'll report to Duns and Bradstreet and the faster you'll actually generate your business credit score, which is called a Paydex score. So after you've built strong relationships with these vendor accounts, now you're ready for the next step, which essentially is applying for gas cards and store cards. But the fact that you have some net 30s on your profile, now you can go to places like Shell, Chevron, and Sunoco, and you can actually apply to be given a gas card. These are cards that you can use up front and pay back over time, and these businesses are gonna report them to your business credit bureau. And not only can you get gas cards at this time, but you can get your first entry into actually getting store cards. Some of the first stores you can apply to for business credit cards during the tier method are gonna be places like Sam's Club, Costco, Walmart, and even Amazon has started getting into the store cards and granting new businesses business credit. And now that you have your vendor account, you have your gas cards and your store accounts, you're ready to play with the big boys and you can actually start applying for commercial credit card companies like American Express, Chase, and more. And you can literally do all these things in just a matter of a few months. Now another gem is the best way that you can monitor your steps as you take this business credit journey is to actually download the NAV app. That's N A V and pretty much it's the credit karma of business credit. You just download it to your phone, you put in your business information and then they'll start to show you 
the business transactions and the credit reporting data that they have on you. Nav also has a paid plan that will act as a trade line if you sign up for the monthly subscription. But if you don't wanna pay for your monthly subscription just yet, you can still get your normal business credit reporting data just from the free plan on the app too. Overall, as I said, all these things are just gonna help you get your paydex score generated. And once you get that paydex score, it's game time. After following these same exact steps, I was able to build over $100,000 in business credit and stop living paycheck to paycheck. I use business credit to start my Toro business, to start investing in real estate, and to continue to change the people's lives around me. And now it's time for you to take this information and start running up your own bag with business credit. So make sure you click this next video if you wanna learn even more about creating financial freedom and living the life you want.